Welcome back to EDU in 90. Did you know that there are more than 800 million monthly active users on Drive? Many of them are G Suite for Education users just like you. Many of you are probably already using Google Drive to store, search, and access your files, whether they're lesson plans, grade level notes, or documents for a club that you sponsor. On this episode, we'll take a look at team drives, what they are, why they're useful to schools, and how to create one for your team. A team drive is similar to what you might already be familiar with as my drive. Secure storage of docs, forms, slides, PDFs, and a whole host of other file types that you can access anywhere, anytime, on any device. The exception is that files in team drives belong to the team instead of to the individual. That's right. We know that educators and school staff sometimes change roles or move districts. With team drives, even if a team member leaves, the files stay exactly where they are, so there's no need to worry about tracking down or transferring information. The files stay within team drive so your team can continue to share information and focus on more important priorities. And when someone new joins your grade level team or school staff, everything is in one place so they can dive straight in and quickly get up to speed, focusing on instruction instead of recreating the wheel. Let's take a look at how to set one up. Once team drives are enabled in the admin console, open drive and click team drives in the left navigation. From there, you'll want to select new, then enter a name and click create. Once you've created a team drive, it's time to add members and set permissions. Team drives allows you to specialize permissions based on who you'd like to edit, comment, reorganize, and delete certain file types. You can add members by name, email address, or via Google Groups. By default, all members within team drives automatically see the same files regardless of who adds or reorganizes them. This helps cut back on the number of times you have to grant file access to grade level or content team members. And there you have it. You're now ready to start adding files, creating folders, searching, and sharing. We're out of time for this episode, but check out the step-by-step -step guide linked below to learn more. And make sure to subscribe to the Google for Education YouTube channel too. See you soon. Check out our last episode to learn about expeditions and how to bring them into your classroom.